with the skin. But Infinity also trying to get themselves a bit more elimination. Box the one actually being boxed around. I mean, like, mm. these are the ties. Taking the sweet time, taking all the other teams in the Thanksgiving day, one by one to be taken down, including now DBD just digging their own grave as well. Yeah, I mean, that's super open for box gaming. Nothing much they can do. But now, so far, all the teams have been eliminated. None of them got any eliminations at all. That is insane. And now SLD with a long way shot to DBD. DBD to go into a space clan. Face clan has DBD to deal with, but the name coming in from Ice. Oh, it's not going to be the name. It's going to be a long way shot. L. Onto Lycan Ooh. from Ice and Tony K nailed down Echo Lycan finishes off by Nine Noise. DBD trying to just flush out while Ventura is actually scattered by, by SLD. Chuang from afar. DBD trying to just force face and they go for a retreat here for face. They don't want to overcommit this as Tony K really low. Same goes for the others. But Bacon Time might take this as an opportunity, an opportunity presented itself in front of them. Everything seems to be unfold for Bacon Time. They've been waiting in the center. They got even the circle and it's everything in their hands now. They will pick the fight. They ever tried to get into the circle. Slowly finish off by Bacon Time in the center. I'm start tapping it away. Looks like Bacon Time, they're currently in the middle of the circle. Face Clan is still on the outside of it. Vampire could be in trouble. I'm a couple of taps onto the other side with the mini 48. It does connect, but not enough to take him down. The Infinity nader down is Newsy from Putra. Putra we'll trying to finish off Newsy, but it's just too hard for him to literally just clutch his solo. This going to be the last main of 7-9. Putra, that finish off by side of NFT Batman from the back line. But Infinity tried to spot out and open up the Bridge of Smoke to make sure they can actually just revive their own teammate again. But FaZe, just going to get keep DPD on a different angle entirely. It's still trying to make sure that they're touching the rim of a circle. Whoever tried to pass through, two teams going at that. Zero DBD and also maybe possibly SLD in the stage. Oh, DBD now moving forward. DBD looks like they need to find their way through. It's going to be Face Clan that's going to stop them from coming into the circle. Face Clan, they have been Taurus within and O'Neal will be the next one to go wild from Udo Alliance. They still have three players within the circle, but unfortunately, DBD may lose one. This is just perfect angle. Everything unfolds for bacon time. Just underneath that turret. But back towards the side of Stem 9. Stem 9, last player, finished off straight away. We're down to only a few teams here. We're bacon time in the center. Underneath the telecommunication tower, we do have the other team trying to join in. GDG ideas trying to take away bacon time spot here, but FaZe trying to keep out on DBD. Still the longest fight between these two teams. NFT, sorry, SLD actually undominated. They are taking the steals out of FaZe's clans and DBD finish off with the side of FaZe alongside with SLD at the same time. And FaZe clan already has five eliminations. They're currently dominating. They might have steal their number one spot, but then again, vampires, they are still in there. So they are still fighting for their number one spot. They're not giving up just yet. And now Ramos, they did now they look. Looks like you do a license in trouble. Big inside in the high ground against GD GD as the name when we talk about that noise. It does connect Ramos. Knock down Shamil. Two knock downs back to back by Ramos. This could be an opening for NFT to go in on the Udo Alliance. And Udo Alliance is out. Circle hard shift again. NFT Ramos finish off. Couple of players of Udo Alliance to secure their position even further and stronger. But Vampires are not done as well. They take it out on NFT. Still have three tight teams going off the chart here. Another three. Another three. Taking the advantage of what's happening on a three way war. Vampires eliminated next. This secures phase at number one spot still by the end of the day. Hey! Just taking SLD from the flank. What a sharp shooting coming up from Shirt. He sprayed it. What an efficiency. Oh, but they're not done. They're no bacon time still. SLD to deal with two plays where SLD still like them. And now Shirt is trying to spot them out. Shirt can get a good angle. But at the same time, we have NFT coming in from the other side. A big good time. Ice will be gunned down by NFT from behind. He's going to be bad, man. The one thing coming down. They still have three men here. Well, the others having two. Bacon time. Need a revive. Yeah, but they do have the space. Uh, Tony came from afar with a scope. Try to knock down on bacon time. But they got haystacks. They got themselves a circle. They need, don't need to move. Uh, NFT uh, take it on bacon. Going to be one to one trade. Ice with their DBS. Try to actually fight for fair 1v1. You have been in that, oh. but that's going to be Jersey. And also, Tony K finish off NFT from behind, giving the opportunity of Bacon to stand up to their own feet here. Oh, Bacon time. They should be able to reset. But then again, where is SLD at this moment? SLD, we have Smap. Drones in. It's nowhere to be found. It's just behind Smap. At this moment, he's exactly where Face Clan is. That Face Clan moves into the circle. Now, Bacon time. 
How are they going to find their space there? They're all in the circle while everyone else is still on the outside. This is just whoever got the ground. So they're definitely going to win Drop this dead. one. And Strong sends Freya back, getting on one. Jersey on the ground, down to only eyes here for vacant time. Strong almost shredded his helmet. It's finished off. Jersey straight away, securing one more point on the side of SLD. Now down to one person of vacant time. Face have the most men. With Tony K moving forward with a couple of smokes. It definitely oh. is trying to make way. I think spotted out almost clip entirely for his HP. That was insanely close there. Bacon time, the last man standing out, but I will not be able to evade it. Tony K will finish up the job. It's going to be third place for Bacon time, but they got themselves 10 elimination points. Now 2v3, face clan versus SLD. This is just 1v2v3 v two v three here. Face got themselves quite a spread. Wintour is coming out from the side of a flank. While Tony K keep on pushing on those nades. MR5 on the other end. Truong will be spotted out. Smack will be seen through. Tony K tried to just distract them with the jumps just now. We're behind the haystack. Here comes the Torres. Oh, right in front of Matt. Oh. What a response here. Straight away, Tony K actually taking down on Smack first. How did he actually see that through? Well, now he needs to see where exactly Trozin is at. Trozin shoots onto the Torres. Down to the Torres. Help me. Torres goes down. Trozin gets one. But then again, it's just too much for him to handle. Tony K will be there with the name. And Trozin is out. This is said, Face Clan runs on the day again. We start the week with a Thailand team. We end the week with another Thailand team. Face Clan with a chicken dinner. And definitely stand strong when it comes to their number one post. And they make sure their last game they gave their all.